It looks easy, but it's practice off the field that counts. You don't need a ball at first. Just practice that easy stance, proper grip and straight back lift. This is how you see it yourself. Watch that once more. Notice how the bat turns. Practice is essential. The good batsman plays cautiously to straight ball. Even when he's made quite a few runs, the forward defensive stroke is Hutton's great standby. And at the other end, his partner is using the same defensive stroke. Forward defense. A straight back lift, then left foot and bat forward together. Shoulders well out over the ball. Left knee bent. That boy in the middle there, look, no back lift, bat at the wrong angle, left knee straight, head in the wrong position. If you keep the bat close to the left foot, it will be straight and there will be no gap for the ball to go through. For practice on the playground, hard rubber balls are best. You play the same rope exactly. Straight back to the bowler if you can. That's right. Shoulders well out over the ball. Bat inclined at an angle. But what if the ball isn't straight? Well, your foot goes out to off for an off ball and to leg for a leg ball. But it's the same basic stroke. You can practice it in teams of three, batsmen, bowlers, and fielders at short mid-off for off balls. For leg balls, the fielders cross over to short mid-on. Sound defense gives confidence for attack. Back at the match, Hutton is well set and is attacking the bowling. The stroke he played then was not this forward defense, but this forward attack. It's very similar, but the bat follows through and the right elbow points in the direction the ball has gone. Try the stroke over and over again till you get the feel of it. And now, with the ball. Hutton is forcing the pace now. Oh, 
He's out, Charlotte. Lofting the ball is always dangerous, but when you've made over 70, you feel like hitting out. You can't learn cricket only by watching a film. It's practice that counts. It's a nice day for the school match. You are one of the opening batsmen and you mean to make at least 50 today. Oh dear, out first ball. Now what did you do wrong? What would Len Hutton have done with that ball? Well, it was a straight ball pitched rather short. So he'd have played back to it. His right foot goes back towards the wicket. Left elbow is held high, keeping the bat straight. Of course, this needs practice. One, two. Straight back lift, right foot back, left foot to it, and left elbow up in the air. No, no, that left elbow should be up there. That's not a bad position. Now watch Hutton playing back to an off ball. This time the right foot goes back and across towards the off stump. But he plays exactly the same stroke. For leg balls, his right foot does not go so far across. Watch his left elbow from square leg. Off ball. Leg ball. You'll soon get the rhythm of it. Every stroke must be practiced many times. And then you'll be all set for a go with the ball. Hutton often drives when playing back, thus turning defence into attack. Did you notice the follow through? Good back play is one of the fundamentals of batting style. If you can master it, the bowler won't get those bails off so easily.
A fake, of course. But he may get into the test 11 one day if he works hard. Even if he has mastered forward defense and attack and back play, there's still lots to learn. When a batsman like Hutton has got his eye in and is attacking the bowling, he makes use of a wider range of strokes. For example, the cut. The square cut is used for shortish balls well outside the off stump and can be played off either foot. The batsman steps forward across the wicket and the ball is driven low in the direction of cover point. Now some medium fast balls well outside the off stump and pitched up a little further. Hutton has to play the cut later now. The bat makes contact with the ball after it has passed the popping crease and coaxes it in the direction of third man. It's not so easy as it looks. These boys are practicing the square cut with the left foot across. The hook is not a stroke for the beginner because you have to step across your wicket to a straight ball. Hutton is hooking short straight balls round to leg. He steps right across the line of flight of the ball, watching it very carefully. But if he's not quite sure about it, the good batsman will play back for safety. When you're hooking, try to send the ball in front of square leg, not behind him. The leg glide is a stroke for the expert. Here's Hutton playing the forward version. The start of the stroke is the same as for the forward defense stroke, but you face the bat towards mid-arm. The backward version begins like defensive back play. Again, the bat is faced towards mid-arm. And here's Hutton playing the leg glide in a county match. 